I love hunting for hot springs in the winter. It's so fun. It's not just the soak, it's about getting there. There's all sorts of different ways you have to get to these different hot springs. There's different types of hot springs. If you're into finding and hunting for hot springs, Idaho has double the amount of hot springs of Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia combined. I love hunting for hot springs in the winter because less people. Hot springs get super popular, obviously. They're awesome. But in the winter, like today, winter, middle of December, there is no one out here. And I dig having the hot springs to myself. A lot of these trips Chad and I do together. On other ones, I bring my family. And sometimes you just have to get out into it on your own. Someone made a comment, hey, you should check out Loftus Hot Springs. And I thought, sure, why not? I know it's about two and a half hours from Boise. I know it's right along this uh, road here, which is the road um, to Atlanta. Uh, it's called North Middle Fork Road. Side note, when I was told about Loftus, when I got that message on our YouTube channel, thank you who sent that to me, hiking hot springs in the Pacific more Northwest by Evie Litton. I got all my information for Loftus Hot Springs. Um, it's got how to get there what it's like, it comes with photos, if a swimsuit is required or not. I definitely recommend picking up something like this if you're out and exploring a new area. I'll leave a link in the description. It's fantastic, I highly recommend. Going out to a place by yourself in the middle of winter comes with some risk, okay? I think that's what I'm most scared of out here is accidentally locking my keys in the car. Use precaution if you're gonna go places by yourself. Before I left, I told people, I am staying at Willow Creek campsite at night, and then I'm going to Loftus in the morning, and then I'm heading back to Boise. If you don't hear from me by, you know, tomorrow evening, go look for me if you haven't heard from me. I'm about 13 miles from Loftus Hot Springs. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. If somehow I get lost in the morning or I can't find my way, you know, I have all that, that whole day is worth of daylight to, you know, try to figure it out. <sighs> Solace. Comfort in a time of distress or sadness. Solace is hard to come by nowadays. Unfortunately, the distress and sadness part are not. Solace looks different from human to human. For one person, it's a busy coffee shop. For another, it's in the back of their car. My brain has always loved alliteration. Maybe that's why I associate solace with silence. And there's no better place for silence than in the wild of winter. See, I did it again. Alliteration. Whether you know it about yourself or not, every human can find solace in nature. You just have to know where to look. Imagination is the only rule Mystery the only school The flowers talk and trees can walk around Sometimes our feet float off the ground I found it. It was right by the road, but there's no markings for it. There's a big turnout for it, but I mean, everything's white right now. It's snowing. There's nobody out here. There's no cars. Eventually, I had to pop my drone up into the air and search for it from there. The road is right there, right behind me, right down there. And that's actually one of the good giveaways because it's, it's draining down and you can see the hot water down there. This is around mile marker, I think it's right at mile marker 34. So, if you're coming from Boise to Atlanta, it is right past the bridge that takes you across the Boise River, and then you turn out at mile 34, and it's this, it's right there, it's right here. 
I did camp at Willow Creek Campground. Like I said, I was comfortable with that place. There are two campgrounds much closer. Trousdale is back a ways. It's around mile 33. So it's, you know, a mile back towards Boise from this hot springs. The other uh, campsite is more towards Atlanta and it's called Nine Mire. So if you're actually just coming out here for this hot springs, those are the two sites I'd recommend. Now, to wear a swimsuit or not, I am pretty alone, um, so we'll see. Do you love hunting for hot springs? Here are some more soaks from Idaho we think you might like. Don't miss out on your next adventure. Subscribe to the channel for weekly ideas in Idaho and beyond. For a deeper dive on these amazing places, visit our blog. If you have any questions for us, we'd love to see it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.